Hello everyone and welcome to the class. This is David A. Cox with techtalkamerica.com and today I'm going to show you how to resolve a very common issue that you can find on your Mac, especially when transferring files from your old computer to your new computer. So some of you may know this, but I a lot of times get the ideas for many of the classes by working privately with people. And uh, sitting next to me here, although he's not on camera, uh, is a friend of mine who recently had data transferred from his old computer to his new computer and suddenly discovered that many of his documents couldn't open. This is usually due to the fact that the software that was used to create those documents is older or no longer supported. So if you look here at the very top right, we have an example of one of those. I asked him to transfer this to me so that I could show all of you how to resolve it. So here we have a recipe for Hungarian chocolate cake. Mm -mm -mm. And you can see here, it looks like this little black box and says EXEC, okay? It may or may not have that same icon on your computer, but you'll see here that if I double click to open it, what happens, okay? It tries to open pages, but it says that it can't be open for some reason. Now, you don't need any special software to resolve this. It's just a really, really simple little trick. So what we're gonna do to resolve it is we're gonna go back to the file here and you can see here I've clicked on it, therefore it's highlighted, but if I click into the text again, what will happen is, as we would with any document, we can rename it. Now, we don't wanna rename the beginning part, we wanna rename the ending. So we're gonna just click into here so that the cursor is at the very end of cake and we're gonna add just a couple of little keystrokes. We're going to add a period and then one of the following three extensions. And it could be different on your computer um, as far as which one will actually do it. So you can do this as many times as you want and be safe. So it's either going to be .doc, .rtf, or .txt, and I would recommend trying it in that order. So let's just try adding .d, oops, I already added a period, .doc, and when you're done, you're gonna hit the enter or return key on your keyboard to lock it in. You're gonna get this little pop-up that says, are you sure you want to add the extension .doc to the end of the name? We're gonna click add, and let's try it out. Now you will notice it just changed the icon. Let's double click and see if it is there. And voila, we have it. Now, in this case, you can see here, we did get a little warning message, and many of you will get this too, saying that the font that was used to originally create this document is not available on the Mac, and it's been replaced by something else. Now, if you go through all of these various options here and you're left to do .txt, you will very likely find that it won't actually open with pages, but it will open with a different piece of software. At this point, what I would recommend that you do is you copy all of that text and paste it into a new Pages document. Not that there's any major advantage to this, it's just that Pages is a little bit easier to use than uh, the one that comes with your Mac, which is right here, Text Edit. So that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this little class. I hope you will consider hitting that like button if you're watching us on YouTube. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can do that by clicking on the little logo that just appeared on your screen. And if you'd like, leave us a comment below. That's all for me, everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.